Uh, so I changed my raps from being just uh, regular raps to positive raps. I was a positive rapper. Uh, I didn't talk about selling crack or killing people, so that was okay. Um, but what I realized is everything that's good is not necessarily God. Some things you can do that are good, that are great. But if they're not ordained by God, it means absolutely nothing. So I realized that even if I became successful, positive rapping, I would still be a failure in life because I wasn't serving Christ. You see what I'm saying? So, God put it on my heart to make the transition. God put it on my heart to, to make the transition in the Christian rap. Um, some people have ultimate testimonies, these amazing, you know, crazy testimonies that happened that brought them to Christ. My testimony is slightly different. Um, I grew up kind of fast. You know, my childhood was beautiful childhood, same breath, I experienced a lot of things early. A lot of things early. So as I got 15, 16 in my life, I had saw and witnessed a lot of things that adults hadn't saw and experienced and witnessed yet. Right? So, my coming to Christ didn't take this ultimate sacrifice. I didn't get shot. I didn't go to jail. You know, I didn't have my house and my car taken away from me. That's not what happened to me. What happened to me is when I got when I got to I was about 17 years old. I got I was about 17 years old, and the spirit of God came into me. I didn't start jumping around and failing and yelling, but my heart started to change. I started to look at things different, I started to see things different, I started to smell things and taste things that were different because of the spirit of Christ that had came inside of me, right? So the point I'm making is you know, young people, whether you're young in age or young at heart, you don't have to wait for some ultimate immaculate experience to come to Christ. You don't have to, you know, I'm going to keep selling until I get caught and go do a couple years, and that's how I know to sit down. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing until, you know, I get shot. You know, double O went to jail like three or four times. I ain't even been yet, so it might not be my time to come. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you don't have to wait. You know what I mean? You don't have to wait to come to him. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Um, as I came into Christ, as I came into Christ, I was on fire as a young, as a, as a baby Christian, should I say. I was on fire as a baby Christian. And then, what starts to happen is, life continues. Well, you know, it doesn't just, everything doesn't just melt away and go away, you know. You're with God now, so everything is cool. Especially as a young man, you know what I mean? It's a lot of temptation, it's a lot of things that's still going to be out there. And the, I, the understanding is that you're not going to be perfect, but what they say, you're perfectly forgiven. So, second point is, don't be afraid of the mistakes that you're going to make. You know what I mean? I, I've heard people say, I got to do this before I go get to the Lord. I got to finish getting this money first. I got to finish doing such and such. Then I go to the Lord. No, 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 no. That's not the understanding. The understanding is you're going to come to him dirty and he'll clean you up. If you wait to clean yourself up, you would have been dead. You know what I'm saying? So, one, don't wait for this immaculate experience. Two, don't be scared of your mistakes. And three, remember that it's going to be a continual growth process in God. It's salvation and it's sanctification. Salvation is when you come as you are, you accept you, you believe in him. That sanctification is your continued growth, not to be sinless, but seeing less and less and less and less. So I think those are a few cute key things, you know, with, with the, especially with the younger people, is the waiting, you know, the thinking that you have to be perfect. Christianity is putting on a tie and so forth and so in. It's not that. You know what I mean, it's not that at all. So, September 18th, we're gonna have a real good time. We're gonna create a forum, we're gonna create a venue where you can come out, you can have live music and lights and you know, uh, you know, uh, a beautiful atmosphere with all the negativity of the regular club scene. Uh, 7 7:30 a.m. is the name of the mixtape. No snooze buttons. The single, the one I just playing in the background right now, super stupid crazy dumb. It's on iTunes right now. I'm Corey Paul, Christian rapper, and I thank y'all.